My name is Anna Lim. I'm a super chef in Singapore. And this is my story. Food is something that is so close to our heart because it's not just for nourishment, it really evokes memories. It could be because we went for our honeymoon together and then we had this really, really lovely bowl of goulash. And then every time, you know, when you have that bowl of goulash, it brings back that special memories that you have. Currently, I run the Soup Spoon in Singapore. We started the business 15 years ago with my husband, Andrew. We met while we were studying in Australia and another partner, Benedict. Benedict as well, we met in Australia. We went on and studied our own courses. We came back and we had our own careers. But I think one day we just sat together and we said that why don't we do something. Uh, soup was something that we felt uh, was up and coming because it was healthy. For us, is that we feel that every culture has a soup. You know, everyone would say that, you know, my grandmother makes the best soup. It doesn't really matter where you are from, whether you are from Indonesia, whether you are from Singapore, whether you are from Australia. Everybody has a soup that they love. So that's how we came together and we started a soup cafe. Australia was a beautiful place. It allowed us to uh, balance the approach to not just studying, but also learning from one another. You know, when we are at a place that is different from our home, that's where we could see the difference. Uh, whether it is uh, the system of how things are being done, uh, to you know how things could work maybe in another country but not ours, it kind of opens up our mind to look at you know what uh, possibilities that could be in, in another place, and then also to adopt new ideas from different places like in Australia, uh, back home to Singapore. The first restaurant in the world was actually a soup restaurant. We serve wholesome soups with no preservatives and no MSG added. They are all world-inspired soups, so it could be inspiration from anywhere in the world um, based on my travels, based on my memories, uh, based on my childhood. We have 26 outlets today and we have also um, have other concepts. We have a concept called the grill knife. We have a salad fork and we have uh, the hamburger and we house this together and in a concept called the Soup Spoon Union. Even though um, I did um, biotechnology in university and I went on to um, work as an embryologist at the hospital, for me, getting a university education is always just the start of, of uh, opening up your mind. Uh, and then being overseas, it also taught me to be a lot more independent as well. You know, having to fend for myself. For me, cooking is not only just an art, but it is a science if you think about it. Because every time when you want that bowl of soup, it has to taste the same in order for you to evoke any kind of memory. You want that consistency that comes across. And that's when my training in biotechnology helps as well. I, I think uh, being, studying in Australia gave us a huge uh, exposure in terms of not only an academic but also exposure in terms of being independent uh, working jobs that are out of school itself. So I think when, when we came back and we started the business, I think it, it gave us a good foundation in terms of the way we looked at things and the way that we obviously uh, are very independent and the way that we run things uh, and, and having a great uh, variety not only in terms of academic but also in terms of life exposure.